If you do short-term rentals, you've probably wondered how to furnish a short-term rental. Because if it's furnished correctly, not only will it increase income, but it'll increase the amount of bookings you get every single month. Let's go. Hey there, this video is brought to you by our Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle. Our Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle is a mastermind that we run as a company to help you get more income through real estate. And if you're interested in being around people that are getting more results more quickly, click the link in the description and come and you can hop on the phone with our team and we can tell you a little bit more about the Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle and we can see if you're a great fit to join this group of investors that are getting things done. And we'd love to hear more about your story. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and join our family of investors creating passive income. Smash that thumbs up button and turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time we do a video. Now, let's get started. So if you're gonna furnish a short-term rental, you have to understand the things that are at play because furnishing a rental will actually increase your bookings if you do it the right way. And here's why. One of the things that push bookings more than anything else is photos. Think about this. When you're on Airbnb or VRBO or even Furnish Finders, you're booking based off photos. And if your photos don't have the proper furnishing and the proper arrangements, your photos kind of look dead and dull and nobody really wants to book your property. Photos is the thing that stands between somebody reaching out to you and somebody not. And you've seen it. You've seen, you've gone to the site and you've seen bad lighting and you've seen it where it looks dull and the, and the, and, and the bed's kind of messed up and you see that and you're like, yeah, that doesn't really look like a place that I'm interested in. It's the same with everybody else going towards your site. The better the photos are, the more you're going to be able to book. And furnishings have everything to do with this. Now, I have to tell you, I didn't learn this information just because I'm such a smart guy. I hired a manager that came in after I had messed it up every which way. And she called me and she goes, who really did your photos? And I'm like, well, we did them in-house. And she's like, yeah, they're awful. And because I can't, there's, this needs to be moved here. You need a couple pieces of furniture here. And I had no idea. That's not my game. I am not an interior designer. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But she did. And so she started to share with us what types of furnishing you need in order to ramp up those photos, in order to get more booking. So when we talk about furnishing, there's two things I want you to see this as. Number one, it's the pragmatic element of making sure everything is there for your, for your guests to make sure they have what they need. But it's also a marketing element. The way you furnish it can generate more revenue. And here's how. The first thing you're going to want to obviously put in is you're going to need a bed. You're going to need a bed in every bedroom. And uh, we'll talk about even how to leverage this for more money in just a minute. But you're going to need a bed in every bedroom. And I will tell you, invest some money in some comfortable beds. One of the things we did poorly when we were launching our Airbnb is we put in pretty cheap beds. And when people left, they, they mentioned it in the comments. They mentioned it in the reviews of how uncomfortable the beds were. So you want to make sure when people are staying away from their home, a good bed is a huge deal to people. In fact, one of the reasons I used to love staying at the Westons and even the Marriott's, the Westons used to have the heavenly beds. Man, when you laid on those things, they were amazing. So when you pick a bed, you want to make sure you pick one that's really, really, really comfortable so that people that are staying there associate comfort with your place. So of course you need a bed in every bedroom, but make sure the kind of bed you get is comfortable. And I would suggest get as big a bed as that room will allow. If, if a queen makes it feel like there's still room to get around, go for a queen. If a king will fit in there, put a king in there. I know it's a little bit more money, but again, it's a better marketing. It takes up more space. It looks bigger. It looks more vast in the photos. So again, take the bed as big as you can to still give some room around the bedroom. The second thing you need is you need a comfortable seating area or couch or sofa or chairs out in the living room. So you're gonna need a seating area that they can that they can sit and relax. And I'll tell you this, my wife and I are really big readers. We love to just kind of chill and veg out when we go on vacation. So when we look for an Airbnb, how comfortable the couch looks is important to us because we wanna sit down and relax. And so having a comfortable couch in order to just relax and chill after a hard day, that's a really, really important thing. So you wanna have a comfortable couch in that seating area that again, looks welcoming to your guests when they see it in photos. But a side note on that couch, if you, instead of just having a couch, have a sofa bed couch, you just increase the amount of people that can stay in your place, therefore increase the amount of income you can charge per night. So if you turn that couch into a sofa bed, if it's a two bedroom, it no longer sleeps four, it'll sleep six. Well, for six, you can charge more money. And that's the power of just 
investing a couple hundred dollars more to get a sofa bed in whatever couch you're gonna put in your living room. So when you put a comfortable couch there, make it a sofa bed because it increases the amount of income you can make. The third thing you're gonna want is artwork. And you know how I know this? Because when I had a really nice Airbnb, I had no artwork and every picture looked dead and dull. I'm telling you, my manager came in and she's like, let's put a piece of artwork here above the bed, above the table. Now the pictures, oh my goodness. She took the pictures on her iPhone. Our previous pictures were taken from a professional with a real camera and her pictures look 50 times better because they're taken in a way that shows the artwork. It shows a beautiful place. It shows some welcoming. And I'll tell you, artwork on the, on the, uh, on the walls is a big difference. And usually you want a nice piece above the couch, a piece over by the kitchen table, a piece above both beds. That will get you started, at least in the artwork game, to make sure you have a couple pieces. And by the way, you can go to a TJ Maxx or Burlington Coat Factory and get pretty cheap artwork that really turns your place to look really, really nice. The fourth thing are some plants. Of course, these don't have to be real, and I would tell you don't make them real plants because they're more maintenance and they'll die and shed all over your, your property. But, uh, but make fake plants change the game. Yet another thing our manager came in and did, they're like, no, let's put a plant in this corner and plant and it just added so much beauty in those photos, so much beauty when people walked in. So you want to add a couple plants in the, into a couple areas, couple uh, corners over by the table, maybe by the couch, so it just adds some green and adds some life to the property. Again, as you're furnishing, these are things you have to think about. I didn't think about any of these. And so if this is not your cup of tea, if you're not a designer and this is way outside your wheelhouse, Make sure you hire somebody that knows what they're doing. A Airbnb manager will gladly know. A lot of real estate agents have really good eye for design. So a real estate agent maybe can come in and you can pay them for a day to come in and help you. But get somebody that knows what they're doing as you lay out your property. But throwing a few plants around is gonna really add some life to the space. And the last one, which is often the most important and the most work is the kitchen. What you furnish in the kitchen will often either leave a mark or in a positive way or leave a mark in a negative way. If they go to get a spat, you know, and they're gonna grill up some eggs and just do some scrambled eggs and there's no spatula, that's gonna frustrate people. If, they're, if they go to, uh, to, to make, make some coffee but there's no coffee cups, that's gonna frustrate people. So you have to think about a kitchen you would stay in. What, what would you need in an everyday stay? You're gonna need glasses, you're gonna need plates, you're gonna need bowls, you're gonna need coffee cups, you're gonna need a silverware tray of butter knives, forks, spoons. You're gonna need all of this stuff. And then you're gonna need the accessory drawer. The accessory drawer is your spatulas, your whisks, all the things you use in the kitchen. Again, these are things that make a difference. I know it may seem very petty, but it's not when your guest shows up and say, yeah, there wasn't this in the, in the kitchen, right? And so in, when they write that in a review and you get a negative review or a three-star review, and then it hits your profile on all these booking sites. So you wanna make sure there are, uh, there's a, a kitchen stocked with things that people actually need. And I can tell you this, one of the things you have to have is you gotta have a coffee maker. People love coffee, you gotta have some way for people to make coffee in the morning. I Believe me, I just, we threw a Keurig in there and I know the little cups are a little more expensive, but it's easy and they can just plug it in and throw it away and it's done. And so we threw a Keurig in there and every time the cleaning lady comes in, we bought a big, big batch of those little K-cups or whatever for from Amazon and we just fill them back in, um, uh, a couple hot chocolates, a couple coffees. So when people, uh, pull, they can pull it out, put their thing in and they've got coffee for the day. That's a really nice touch when people wake up in the morning. So again, yet another thing, it just adds a little touch. Now, when I step back from furnishing, Furnishing and hospitality are really closely related. How you furnish a property is one thing. The hospitality you provide kind of is yet another level up. Coffee, it's kind of a hospitality thing. It's just making their stay more pleasurable. Having a bowl of candy on the table of some chocolates when they walk in, that's just a yet another level of hospitality. Having some muffins you know, in the fridge that they can pull out in the morning, yet another level of hospitality. Hospitality goes at different rates, and the more money you charge per night, the more hospitality usually you're gonna have to infuse. But furnishing a property has everything to do with if it gets booked because your photos will show that furnishing. And so furnishing, a lot of people think, well, I just need to make it functional. Yes, but functional is one thing. We also have to get guests to wanna to book it, and that comes through our photos, which comes through proper furnishing. So understand, as you furnish a property, you gotta do it the right way, and then you gotta take pictures in a way that makes people wanna stay there.
And again, if you're interested in more information on the Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle, where we have loads of students coming in, some people are flipping houses, some people are buying multifamily buildings, quite a few students are buying Airbnbs and leveraging Airbnb, and they're all working to build their passive income. If that interests you, click the link below, hop on a call with our team, we'll explain what the Inner Circle looks like and see if you're a great fit. Thank you again so much for tuning in and make sure you watch more videos that can help you get to that next level. We'll see you in the next one.